going on guys out here having my morning coffee for some reason I wake up at 6 a.m. we're earlier every day it's weird it's weird so we are in Billings Montana you guys saw I had some fun yesterday with the car decided it didn't want to start on us that was scary it's like 90 something degrees we're just sitting in a town that we don't know in a car I'm unfamiliar with that was a weird situation um, you know along this trip we've stopped and we've helped a couple people uh, who needed help got them back on the road and uh, I feel like that's why a couple of people stopped to help us. So, um, you know, came full circle. That was really cool. Got our car started. Drove the 122 miles to Billings. Um, stopped at uh, AutoZone and got some uh, catalytic converter cleaner. You're supposed to pour in. You're supposed to clean your catalytic converter. I hope it works. Um, you know, I had thoughts yesterday of just bypassing Yellowstone and, you know, beelining at home. <laughs> I feel like that would do a complete dis disservice to this trip. Yellowstone is something that Aspen really wants to see, something I really want to take her to. Uh, I think we're going to risk it. I think we have to. Um, how do you get this far? And you're, We're at the very end, you know. So we got Yellowstone right there, which is partway in, you know, Idaho, and then Oregon's next. Like, the trip is done. <laughs> um, trip is done. Other than these last couple days. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to hit Portland. She wants to be able to hang out with, uh, with one of her friends to end it. You know, her school starts for her next week. Um, and then we'll get home, and it's, it's over, man. It's been crazy. You know, we we weren't even gonna do the trip. Um, I decided last minute that we were gonna do the trip, and then we had one more gun show auction, and uh, then then we we took off. What two days later? Three days later, and got in the wind, and that was over a month ago. <laughs> Seems like forever ago we were in Vegas. Seems like forever ago we were at Blake's house. Seems like forever ago I was giving my, my buddy Prentice a hug in, in Phoenix. Seems like forever ago we were at Mike's house. Baseball collector. Um, has been just an amazing, amazing experience. The things that me and Aspen have got to see. The talking in the car when she was awake. Um, you know, inside jokes that we're going to have forever now. Uh, we're a trader for the world. You know, during this trip, I've had a lot of people, um, you know, DM me or, or throw a Twitter message or something and they say that, you know, I'd love to be able to do something like this with, with my kids or, you know, I'd love to do this. And here's what I stress to everybody is that it doesn't have to be a trip like this. And it didn't start with a trip like this with me and my daughter. You know, it, it started with us just doing things together. You know, she wasn't always into sports cards. I wasn't always into sports cards. Um, you know, I remember when she decided to play basketball, you know, walking her out on the court for the first time. And she came from a little charter school. So she had never seen like a big basketball court. And uh, I remember me and me and my wife walking her, walking her into into the gymnasium and she looked around and it was so big to her that she started shaking and crying and she almost didn't want to play basketball. And uh, all of that almost ended right there. And we talked her into playing and, you know, I ended up coaching her team and, um, you know, did that with her for a couple years and it starts with stuff like that, you know, and we started, we started, you know, collecting cards together. It starts with stuff like that. 
that's that's as good as something like this. It doesn't have to be a month long trip, some some impossible goal that's going to be impo impossible for most people to be able to accomplish and do and reach. You know, we just happen to have a perfect storm that made it happen. But there's so many other things that you can do to build memories. I mean, you know, with little Jimmy, we have boys night. Where we, we, we leave the girls and we go in the back room and we watch, you know, we, we hang out. We watch movies and it's something as small as me buying a Lunchable and uh, maybe a cookie. And, uh, you know, it's a special thing. Those are the kind of those are the kind of things people could do. I understand not everybody could do a trip like this. I understand how blessed <clears throat> we were to be able to do it. I understand how much help we got along the way to make this happen. <laughs> Something I'm never gonna forget. I'm never gonna forget. Um, almost done though. Almost done. Yellowstone, you know, maybe uh, southern Idaho, and then uh, you know, into Portland, hang out with a couple of my buddies, and then uh, you know, a ride, a drive that used to seem long from from uh, you know, my house, you know, where I live now to Portland, used to seem like such a long drive. You know, I'm telling Aspen, we're gonna we're gonna get in the car and uh, <laughs> make that drive, and it's gonna seem like nothing. You know, when we leave Portland, uh, we're gonna we're gonna understand that we only have you know about two more hours. And when you've been driving, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours a day, um, when you've been driving that much every day, that's nothing. But. You know, I know what this is going to mean to to Aspen in her future, and uh, you know, like I've said, I, I growing up, I would look at at like history books or or you know different books, and I, I'd see things like DC or um, Mount Rushmore, you know, uh, Badlands stuff like that, and 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 we got to go through that. <laughs> It's, it's still just so surreal. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Um, I thank everybody who's followed along. Um, I thank everybody who's cared enough to comment and to uh, you know to watch what we were doing. Um, thank you to everybody who you know would would retweet things on Twitter and and you know try to try to help us that way um, again I feel like this was like a, a community event I really do um, and that's how I look at it and, uh, and yeah thank you um, so many pictures so much video so much content that you guys haven't seen yet i've done my best to put together you know a few little videos here and there you know with a couple pictures included uh but there's so much more um you know i'm gonna get home uh and you know try and put all that stuff together and, and pop it all out for you guys to see um and aspen has a ton of pictures too um And here's something too, man. Uh, all the pictures that are on my phone, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them all printed. You know, that's something to think about. Who does that anymore? Normally, you have pictures on your phone, you don't get them printed. Um, so you got pictures from 10 years ago in a box, and then you have nothing now. Um, I'm gonna spend a bunch of money and get all this printed. Uh, I'm also gonna look at how to get all the video put on a. I don't want to do a zip drive. I want to do like a VHS tape. <laughs> Some DVDs or something. I want to figure out how to how to get all this stuff off my phone and uh, you know into into a drawer or into a picture frame. Um, into a scrapbook. I've been collecting things along the way. Um, 
you know, one thing that we didn't do on this trip, we didn't stop at, uh, you know, a bunch of random stores and spend a bunch of, of money on, like, pointless things to bring back to people. Like, hey, here's a shirt you're never going to wear. Or um, We didn't do that. We, we grabbed things to throw in a scrapbook. You know, the trip was, was for us. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy to think it's almost over. You know what's nuts, man? If we would have got a day camper during the thing, I pro I would have pushed this trip another month. <laughs> My wife had said that, too. She was like, go ahead. Do whatever the hell you want. I finished out 2020 on the damn road. But what's amazing is I'll be able to plan some stuff for the future. Um, obviously, it won't be able to be me and Aspen alone. It'll be uh, even better. It'll be, you know, me and my whole family going and doing something. Um, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan some guys trips. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Excited for the future. What could happen? It's going to be good fun. But Again, thank you guys. Love you. Appreciate you. Thanks for the prayers, the, the well wishes, um, and being in our corner. You guys rock. Be a light in someone's life. Thank you.